What's up guys, welcome to another local band smokeout. I am your host, Isaiah the Most BG, and we are welcoming back the man, the myth, the legend behind becoming Jason Hardwin. How are you, sir? I'm doing fantastic. How about you, BG? I'm doing great. Congrats on the one year anniversary. Yeah, man. Uh, In the Name of God album turns one year old on uh, June 12th, so what better way to commemorate the, commemorate it than on local band smoke out with you, man. I love it. A hell yeah. <laughs> Give me a hell yeah. So are we are we able to watch the video now? Because obviously this is gonna come out later after the videos yeah. are already premiered. So we can Absolutely we can you, show you, it. You I'll, do I'll do later. I'll do up to the part where like the music starts, then I'll just mute it and we'll chat over that. Totally. Cool. So yeah, one year anniversary. How how has the last year been? I mean, with the exception of COVID. Well, it was actually really good, you know. COVID did create you know you can't go play gigs and this and that but it also created some other things where it's like you get to really focus in and work on a lot of music so you know i'm like halfway into the new album that i'm working on uh but then you know doing a lot of promotion and getting your ducks in a row and stuff like that so the album actually went to number 23 of the top 30 metal albums on you know fm and college radio it's got a lot of love on you know all the internet radio and you know our fan base um on facebook when we released the album it was like a thousand likes you know and now we're just peaking about to hit at eleven thousand. shouldn't be the peak because it just keeps growing up yeah um so you know the old music is new to the new fans right and then this this album has just been performing really well for us so i'm i think at last count it was like three hundred and seventy-five thousand streams you know so at point zero 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 three cents per stream you know you get a check <laughs> for 50 bucks you're like wow but again, you don't do this for the money anyway. You know, you do it because you love the music and, you know, you got something to say. So have you yeah. ever, have you ever uh, like I have a buddy that, that would that would like frame a royalty check. Have you ever have you ever like kept a royalty check? It, something that was like only like two dollars or something. I did actually. And, and I, I haven't cashed any of the checks. I just like, ah, you know, don't need the money. So it's just like this is cool. It's more like, you know, wall art. Right. I'm getting paid to do what you love. Yeah, yeah. I mean, one day, you know, it's like, obviously, we got to work a regular job, you know, to feed the family and take care of the kids, you know, get them college funds ready and stuff. Definitely. But uh, it's nice to do music on your own terms, right? How, yeah, absolutely. How did uh, how did this all come about, the Metal Stars React video? So I got to, you know, I'm, I have a love-hate relationship with critics, right? Because oftentimes you get someone that re- review your stuff, and they may not even be a fan of what you're doing, you know, or that genre. So... I was like, well, why don't we go to the experts, right? Take some of the metal elites, you know, like, you know, Slayer, Anthrax, Exodus, Testament, Trivium, Soulfly, Sepultura. Some legends. Some legends in there for sure. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, let's see what they think, you know, just, you know. And so that was the catalyst for this and, you know, to commemorate the occasion. And, uh, you know, it turned out really well. So we're super excited to put this out there to commemorate the one-year anniversary of In the Name of God and... You know, hopefully uh, folks will enjoy it as well. I think they will. I think they will. Let's let's check it out. Do it. Metal Stars react. It's the one year anniversary of your video in the name of God. So a very happy one year anniversary from me, Ricky Rackman. Jason, Jason Harduin. Did I say that right? What's up, dude? How you doing, man? Gary Holt here from Exodus and formerly from Slayer. Hey, Jason, this is Charlie with Anthrax. How are you? Jason, what's up? Eric Peterson here. What's up, Jason? Max Cavalera here. I checked out the music video. I freaking love it. I love it all. Love the song, love the band name, love what you did, love the tunes, love the love the heaviness, love the vibe, love the catchiness. What's, this, the- what's the song playing in the background? In the name of God. Okay, we got <laughs> We got a... We'll skip a and little got, bit like, to like throw off the algorithm. Vibe to it in a really good yeah. way. So look, keep it up. Best of luck with your fucking band, man. We need more young bands out there and less DJs. And you guys are definitely <laughs> not fucking DJs. I love the <laughs> political and God, he... imagery. It's totally killer and super. He said less DJs. <laughs> funny. That's funny. Super metal. So 
it was strong. I mean, it seems like everybody like really, really likes it. Yeah, dude, it, it was it was uh, very cool to get that reaction from the people you know that I used to look up to, you know, as a kid and was a fan of their music growing up and stuff. So, yeah, that upper echelon digs it. So, who who of of, of all these cameos is your just a little bit better than the others, as far as like their band? Oh, I love them all in different ways, right? But you know, I think Charlie from Anthrax. He's probably one of my favorite musicians. The guy's just super talented. Gary Holt from Exodus and Slayer, dude, is just amazing. Uh, I grew up on Testament. I grew up on all these bands, you know. Oh yeah. Uh, so, I would say I'd give it a thumbs up, two thumbs up. I can't do the other one because I'm holding the phone with that one. So <laughs> two thumbs up. Uh, yeah, just listen to your song. Um, in the name of God, by becoming very heavy, dude. I like it. Um, Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny. I love that he quoted the lyrics. It's pretty cool though. I liked it. Very heavy. Good job, man. Keep it up. Good stuff. You can man, tell. Man. You can tell that they're, that they're really listening when when that's oh, the case. Oh, dude, this guy, the dude from Five Finger Death Punch, actually tried to learn the riff. He played it wrong, but I give him kudos for for digging it. Uh, yeah, like, that's <laughs> cool. That's cool when the people like really dive in like that on your music. He says he wants to use the riff in another song, but you know we'll cross that bridge. When we come to it, <laughs> show me the money, baby. Show me the money. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed the, um, the the imagery that you got on there of the poop and whatnot. I knew that there's going to be some uh, some caustic thought on the old. I love what he says uh, here. Good stuff, man. Nice work over there. Keep that up, man. He's back it up uh, a little know, bit. I love what he, he says. Found God when I lost religion, so I understand that. He found God when he lost religion. <laughs> uh, but good stuff, man. Nice work over there. Keep that up, man. Uh, you never know where. Uh, to have been able to have a chance to listen to that. Watch, there you go. Check this out. I like that thing. That might end up. He almost had it. Yeah, he's like, he's, he says, that might end up somewhere. Up somewhere, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, brother. Much, much power to you. I love Max. You. Keep raging with becoming, and I'll see you on the road from your metal brother, Max Cavalera. In the name of God. Hell yeah. Yeah, cool. so if you want to see the full video, just, you know, folks, it'll premiere today and it'll be out there for people to check out. And, uh, you know, I, I can't, you know, thank the folks that did the cameos enough, you know, like Charlie Benante, uh, Gary Holt, Matt Heafy, uh, Chris Kale, um, you know, and then even the very, the very opening is Ricky Rackman, the original VJ from Headbangers Ball back in the day. So... You know, having all these folks, you know, on here, actually listening to the, the music, <laughs> checking out the video, it was like, it, it warmed my heart, you know? I was like, yeah. You know, I'm still a fan of all these bands and, and the music, you know, just like the rest of these folks out here, you know? Uh -huh. So that meant a lot to me. So I was stoked. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, you said you have the music halfway, the next album's like halfway done. Yeah. Digging in, you know, probably... Um, you know, I'm in the writing process on the new songs. Uh, I've got four or five of them mostly completed with uh, some some guest musicians that are, are playing on this next album. Uh, super excited to have them. That was actually going to be w one of my questions coming up is uh, now that you've reached out to some of these people um, and they're and they're touchable, you can touch them. You know what I mean by when I say that, like, are, do you think that maybe we could get a feature from one of them on something? Uh, yeah, actually, the, the the there's several features on the new album so far uh, with some amazing drummers. You know, I mean, I play drums and I did nine of the 13 songs on the last album, but it's like, all right, let's take it up a notch and, you know, get some some serious heavy hitters. So stay tuned for that. I'm not ready to put the names out yet, but you've heard of them. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking news right here. Features on the next album. I love it. Uh, nope. would, on, on, in the name of God, what would you say was the hardest song to write? So the hardest song to write on the album. Um, so I feel like I get blessed, right? Where the songs, there's a moment where the song just comes through you, right? You're like an open conduit to the universe and you know, you're one with the note, right? Um, I think the song redemption was a little challenging for me because, you know, when I was recording the drums for Redemption, 
you know, I was like, oh shit, I'm really pushing myself to the point where I was like, dude, I'm sore for three days afterwards and stuff, you know? Um, but from that perspective, I think that redemption was probably the toughest one just for me to get the drums tied on, but everything else, you know, the guitar, the bass, the vocals, the lyrics, the structures, you know, is, is, was came pretty naturally. Um, but yeah. And then, you know, the last song on the album, the, it's like a chill step song called And So Then, um, you know, just from a programming perspective, that was like me messing around with like all the software synths and all this type of stuff. Um, but that came out really cool too. So, you know, just like to, you know, have fun with, you know, making music, you know what I mean? Hell yeah. That's the best part of music is just the creation and forming of the songs. And then when you know you have something, you just have that moment and that giddy feeling inside. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And then it's like, I'll, my moment is when I have a mix down and then I'll go for a drive, right? I'll mm. pop it in, in the car over to USB and it's just like you're driving around listening to your, your new baby, right? And yeah. So that's one of my favorite moments is the first time you actually hear the song on your stereo in your car kind of cranked up, you know? I used to do that all the time. I'd bring a pen and a pad and be like, this part needs to go up and then I'd have an arrow going down, make little mixed notes. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. So yeah, I mean, I'm excited for the new album. Uh, you know, it's gonna take a minute to to get it all done. You know, I don't want to rush anything out. And and literally, in the name of God, is just a year old, and now all the new fans are discovering our previous album, Sonic Revelations. Uh, you know, our 1998 album, Regeneration, is like a freaking collector's item if you can find it anywhere. You know, um, but I, the other day I saw a copy of Sonic Revelations on eBay for like 60 bucks. I was like, what? somebody sell up my cd for 60 bucks <laughs> i mean i got copies for ten dollars or free if you're cool you know <laughs> so that's awesome just, though 60 bucks yeah i was like who is this <laughs> <laughs> but hey thank you right thank you what's what strain of weed are you smoking on today so today i got this jack hair from stizzy right they got this interesting little battery it's really compact it's not the standard cartridge size but again, my local dispensary, White Fire, coming through like champs. So, uh, yeah, there's a good sativa. It's probably about 87%, so I'm feeling it. Yeah, I like I like Sizzy. They got some good ones. Um, yeah, definitely. Some a random... Too. What's that? It's very discreet, too. You know, you don't have this giant battery yeah. you're walking around with. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Off-topic question. Yeah. What's your favorite kind of movies? So I love, I don't know if anybody else subscribed to this uh, channel called Gaia, which is kind of a trip, you know, all the, you know, alien stuff and the, you know, conspiracy theory stuff and, and all that uh, is is near and dear to my heart, right? Anything to do with, you know, uh, the cosmic consciousness and they had this really cool uh, show on there about all the psychedelics too, right? Mushrooms and ecstasy and all these, ayahuasca tea and all these things. So. Just from an educational perspective, I was watching this. It's very interesting. Uh, I find it uh, fascinating. Um, but uh, regular movies, I like comedies. I like, you know, some action stuff, you know, uh, when you're kicking it with the wife, maybe throw on a romantic comedy on the weekend, you know. I, I ain't too too uh, too manly to admit it, you know. But no, uh, no, like, gore, horror movies, nothing like that? No, I'm not too into the gore and the horror stuff. Just like for the same reason, I'm not into like, uh, you know, Cannibal Corpse and you know, a lot of these like death metal bands that are singing about like raping and killing and nonsense, right? Like I'm trying to, with my music and my message, get people, you know, motivated and inspired, help them to go kick kick life's ass. You know what I mean? Um, so uh, the gentleman that's doing drums on one of the songs, uh, I'll give people a hint, uh, his slogan uh, he's actually doing several songs for me, um, but his slogan is kick today's ass in the balls. And if you figure out who that is, you'll know who that drummer is. <laughs> cool. Little, little secret, secret slide in right there. Yeah, boy. Hell yeah. Um, the only other question I have for you, sir, is would you ever want to do this again? But on a day that I do the live streams then you'd be Holy. one of the co-hosts. Totally. Let's do it when uh, the next video drops. So um, our our uh, video slash artist, uh, Melody Myers from Design by Melody, uh, has just been super busy doing all kinds of stuff. She did the new Generation Kill video. She did a bunch of other videos, you know, like ministry and like all these crazy shit, right? 
Um, but as soon as she has our next video, actually the video is going to be for our song, It's Fine. And as soon as that's ready, let's premiere it on your show, do it live, co-host it, and, and knock it out, hotbox the local band, Smoke Out. I love it. I love it. Yeah. So we'll, right. we'll, we'll premiere it and we'll, we'll review a bunch of other bands and uh, we'll see what the fans think live on the spot. And it should be fun. Definitely, man. BG, I appreciate you having me today for everyone out there, you know, checking this out. Keep supporting local bands, Smoke Out. This is an awesome platform. You know, BG is like the most down to earth dude. A lot of folks with shows out there and stuff, you know, they're not as cool as BG. So remember that. And then uh, <laughs> if you want to check out more about Becoming, feel free to, you know, join us on facebook.com forward slash Becoming Band. You can also get us on instagram.com forward slash The Band Becoming, uh, as well as twitter.com forward slash Becoming Band, and then youtube.com forward slash Becoming Band. And then, oh. As the, reverb, special, the reverb one. Yeah, so as a special, you know, anniversary thing, we just uploaded In the Name of God, uh, mp3 as well as through the now as an mp3 along with wish and loyal to our reverb nation page and you can get there just by going to becoming.band but yeah you can get those full mp3s right there share them with your friends crank it up play it loud enjoy it and yeah there you go absolutely crank it to 11 crank it to yeah. 11 and play it Mr. Jason Harwin, always a pleasure, sir. Uh, this is the third Excellent. time we've done this, but it certainly will not be the last. And I look forward to doing the co-hosting with you, man. Those are those are always fun, especially when Let's we tie it, in man. some brand new material from yourself. Oh, yeah. Sounds good, BG. Thank you so much, man. Enjoy, enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, we'll look forward to the, the Metal Stars React video for In the Name of God later today. Well, yes, you'll are, it'll already be out by the time you guys see this. So Yeah. So work <laughs> me, BG. Only at local band smoke out can you disrupt the space time continuum. Just break it, snap it in half. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great day, sir. Cheers, man. Peace, bro. Later. Later.